Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. All the stories we talk about, as always, will be timestamped down below. Let's hop into our first one, though. Actually hinted at a couple days ago by Fortnite themselves is a potential 7.4 update, bringing some huge updates. Now, we could say uh, 7.4 was well on its way. This did almost seem like a direct reaction to, of course, the rise of Apex over the past week or so. But either way, I'll take it as we get it because these updates do look pretty good. Now, it actually was delayed once. Let's cross our fingers. This update will not be delayed again, and it should be expected as early as tomorrow but no guarantees there it could be next week as well but maybe expected by tomorrow and if it is we'll of course break down the full updates let's break down the top five though that apparently are coming with 7.4 patch update and then in the back half of the episode we'll talk about some drama here in the Fortnite scene which seems to be so overblown as of late but let's hop into number one the first of all update will be an update to, again to planes we've seen them nerf multiple times before this time though apparently after 7.4 they would no longer be able to actually smash structures now how I interpreted this was it means they no longer be able to take down an entire one by one or break down multiple walls We'll see exactly how that actually they play that out because the wording was a bit strange there So expect if this actually does rain true planes to not be able to smash all the way through structures But actually get caught in builds a lot more often and therefore being a, a bit of a riskier choice to actually try and dive on Someone's builds and for zip lines huge for an ever now They've actually been trying to hint at this interact key apparently it will be here with this update But even bigger I thought the internet key was gonna be big enough But then you read the second half of it, it could be huge as zip lines will now bring fall damage immunity. We've seen many people out there, you know, people who used to play Fortnite, like, like Tim the Tapman, actually die plenty of times of fall damage, and this should now avoid. It's pretty much a quick fix, in my opinion, to all the several ways you could actually get knocked off or bugged off zip lines and actually die. And this seems like the ultimate fix in the right direction for that. Uh, also, number three, guys, hand cannons now reduced and nerfed uh, their damage to builds now down to 100. So you should be a bit safer from the Deagle spam when you actually build with brick or metal. I think wood spam is still going to be the same, but nonetheless, if you actually risk your materials, you should be a bit more safe and definitely needed. That was one of the number one recommended things alongside planes that needed to be fixed. And also number four, guys, it's actually rocket launchers. Last week, we saw a nerf in the amount of ammo that's actually spawned or the chances of ammo spawning in ammo chests. And now it's going to be on top of that, also a reload rate nerf on, alongside that. So a bit longer to reload those things and definitely needed. Now also very lastly, some quick improvements the turbo building and the ability to edit while crouching are amazing additions to the game with this 7.4 update. I expect other things coming along with it and uh, it's going to be crazy. Definitely a move in the right direction. Is this a response from the rise of Apex? I don't care. This is a great update if it does hold true and everything works out correctly. Because we have seen over the past two to three days, even the past week or so, the drama in the Fortnite scene has been immense. Yes, we know. We are all well aware that many pro players out there have been complaining. I'm kind of sick of seeing a few channels out there take some things totally out of context, just blatantly lie in the titles, so on and so forth. Yes, I understand you got to bait viewers a little bit, get the views, get subscribers, but some of the things we have seen. Now, for the Secret Skirmish, it will be this weekend. There are plenty of events going on in esports this weekend. Secret Skirmish will be one of them. A hundred of your top pro players and streamers around the world will compete for $500,000. It's a great event. It should be a great event of so far. You guys correct me in the comments down below. I believe only one or two pro players. One that I know will be Symphony. He's actually was on the initial list decided not to travel for this which I completely understand it's a lot of travel and alongside that a game he wasn't currently enjoying but play people were also talking about this you know chap uh, alongside his partner or potential partner I don't think he's gonna be his partner for this event um, it's actually gonna be Cloaksy but 72 his teammate also talking about potentially not going to the event they will be there so a lot of things blown out of proportion a lot of things taken way too seriously out there lots of pro players most of the pro players will be going to secret skirmish they like that prize pool money and the game should be being a lot better once this update does launch. Other things taken out of proportion and a huge story this past week was a story with Mark Ryan. If you guys did not see, I'll, I'll link his tweets on screen. This guy literally did nothing wrong and somehow we have hundreds of thousands of Fortnite fans out there hating a guy for, for tweeting a joke and maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just not seeing it right you guys leave a comment down below what you think if you guys were actually offended by this and why yes maybe a person of his power and position should not be tweeting this stuff at all but he did it he really can't take it back although a few of the tweets were deleted I honestly cannot see how hundreds of thousands of people saw this as offensive. Well, uh, one, one thing is because some channels out there take this completely out of context and twist his words. If you read it for what it is, it is so blatant, so obviously a joke and sarcasm. There is no way this guy who knew an update was coming, right? He obviously knew 7.4 was in the works to fix all these things. It was obviously such a joke that he liked deagles. He liked planes. He likes RPGs. He's not an idiot. 
He helped develop the game to where it is today. He obviously knows what things are broken. And so it annoys me when channels out there take his words, twist them, and then turn hundreds of thousands of people against the guy, which is obviously not going to bring any good to the game. I will say it's a bit of a bad state for the game currently, but I'm not going to try and, and twist these words and, and take them for what they are. It was a very obvious joke. And those are that's my two cents on the topic, guys. Way overblown the drama right now. Um, people out there seem to be a bit desperate for, for clicks nowadays. But I hope you guys all enjoy. If 7.4 is actually released tomorrow, I will, of course, do a full breakdown for all of you guys like we usually do. And let's cross our fingers. Hope it's not delayed and hope it's what all was promised here because these updates seem to be a very good move for the future. As always, my name is Jake. Hope to see you guys back here tomorrow. And until then, I'll see you next time.